What's going on all you fantastic freelancers? William here and man, it feels like we just got done doing one of these things. Last week I did two of these, one on the regularly scheduled Monday and another on Wednesday for John Warner's Special Gamescom Edition. This week's episode is an amalgamation of 20 tweets from both John and Mark Dara. Before we get started, a very special happy birthday to Mark Dara. We hope you have a top-notch day. Now then, as many of you know, these tweets aren't listed in any special order aside from when the tweet was tweeted. Without further ado, Let's get into it. Our first tweet is from Raven Sama, who tweets to Mark if we do an Elder Game activity with a Ranger, will we get loot for the other Javelins as well, or will we only get loot for the Javelin we use in the activity? Also, would we have to farm the same Elder Game activity again and again with all of our Javelins to get all the loot for them? Mark replied that you get loot for everything, but it's biased to the Javelin you are currently using. A fan tweets to John in regards to the customization of your Javelin, and if the appearance will be based off of custom skins or actual parts to your Javelin. John replied that it would be both. A fan tweets, how far apart are the invisible walls between zones or levels? Is it really a vast space in all directions, or is it more along the lines of a linear small zone? John replied that it is in fact a big space. Matt Haber tweets that during the Ask Me Almost Anything About Anthem at Gamescom last week, John said that people with EA access on Xbox would get the game on February 15, 2019. Is it the 10 hour early access, or is it also early release similar to Origin Premiere? John replies that they both come out on the same day. Mad follows up that tweet with a slight rewording stating that if having EA access would allow players to enjoy the game at full release capacity instead of a 10 hour early trial. John replied that EA access basic subscribers get a limited trial. Only premiere subs get the full edition on the 15th. I'll be making a video sometime this week going over how all that will work to ease up any confusion. I always enjoy it when Mark Dara answers one of my tweets. I'd asked in regards to which of the four javelins would be the squishiest, aka take the fewest hits before going down and needing a pickup. Mark replied that it was likely the storm, which makes sense, with the suit being a glass cannon and all. Warbird1080 tweets if we will be able to fly and crash our suits into enemies. Mark replied that he doesn't think you can do damage just by flying into them, however, there is an air melee attack for each suit to use. This next question goes out to my good friend Matt who called this when we first saw Halleck V3. 2017. Musely tweets to Mark if Halleck's character design is based off the Maori people. Mark replied that the Maori people were an influence on Halleck's design. It was a really good week for us here at Your Anthem last week. We didn't just get one tweet answered, we got two. I'd asked the dev team a question in regards to the elements of Anthem. I'd asked if the javelins, such as the elemental wielding Storm, can tap into the Anthem of Creation to wield the elements, or is it strictly gear-based, and if it was said gear that gave them their elemental powers. John replied that the Anthem is too powerful and too willful. It would be like breaching the Hoover Dam to put out a campfire. This gives me an idea for a video later on in the week. June Snow tweets if the new acid element is an element the storm could wield with a gear slot. John says that there would be more on that later. Tommy Gunn tweets if there are any plans for a companion application to go along with the game, i.e. something that we could use to look at loadouts, check missions, and so on. John replied that they would be talking about this later on, which leads me to believe that they will be giving us such an application. A fan tweets to John if there are skins for weapon attachments just like there are for javelins. John replied that there wouldn't be at launch. The Potato Man 123 tweets, if progress made in the 10 hour trial will carry over to the full game after it launches. John said that all progress would transfer over for the trial slash early access, but no progress saved from the various demos. Mr. J. Marlowe tweets to John about how many types of titans there are in the Anthem world. John stated that that is still to be determined. We already have the Ash Titan, but which ones do you guys think that there will be in addition? Let me know in the comments section below your thoughts. The Pipe Dreamer tweets, if there will be a transmog system in the game. John replied that cosmetics are completely separate from how powerful you are, so you can look and be you while kicking ass in the Anthem world. Neil G tweets to Mark in the E3 2018 gameplay footage, we see loot balls dropping. Will there be a skill or something to auto collect without having to walk over all the loot, aka a vacuum ability with a 10 meter radius? Mark replied that there is a freelancer perk that increases the pickup radius. Brandon Judge tweets if there is any news as to when we will see more of the storm and the interceptor. John replied that there is nothing yet and that Mark Dara won't let him say anything more on the subject. This leads me to believe we won't see them in action at PAX, and potentially the demo will be a little further out than we had initially believed, mainly due to a tweet that's mentioned later on in here that ideally states that they would want to have all four javelins playable in the demo. Mr. J. Marlowe tweets if other javelins aside from the storm will get a cape of some sort. John replied that it is solely a storm-style trait. 
Chris Boy246 tweets if the paint styles for javelins will be like a consumable or unlimited, in the event that you put it on the wrong armor or something. Mark replied they are unlimited. Lastly, the Peanut Gallery tweets if the beta slash demos will allow us to play test all four suits. It wouldn't be an episode of the Dev Tracker without one of Mark Dara's one word answers that says it all. Anyways, freelancers, that's all for today. This is going to be a busy week for us here at Your Anthem as we have a full week of Anthem coverage leading up to PAX West on Saturday. We are also nearing our 1,000 subscriber mark, which will activate a slew of contests and giveaways coming up very soon. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like and let me know in the comment section below what you're looking forward to at PAX. If you are new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe for more Anthem content. And lastly, a huge thank you to my patrons for their support. I can't thank you all enough for everything. I hope you all have a great first day to your week and looking forward to seeing you all soon. Peace out, everyone.